Hi, I'm Ken Hammond with AgBelt. Today I want to show you how to use the FlexGo hand applicator tool for the alligator rivet fastener system. I'm starting with a baler belt piece that is already squared and skived. The first step in the installation process is to make sure the side of the fastener strip that has an engraved alligator logo is facing up when you insert the fastener strip onto the installation tool. The clamp is adjustable for varying belt thicknesses. You want to be able to adjust it so that the clamp is firm, but not so tight that you're going to break these plastic levers. The tool will have alignment marks for some standard widths of belt. In this case, we are installing fasteners on a belt that is 6.8 inches wide, so we've used the hammer to knock the 7 inch placement pin down and out of our way. Using a one pound hammer, tap down the fastener strip so that the legs of the strips are touching the rubber. The order that we drive in the pilot nail is important. There will be some displacement of material, so we want to control that flow of material so that we keep our fasteners square. Start on the edges and in the middle, but do not set the rivets yet. Now start a rivet halfway between one edge and the middle of the belt. Repeat for the other side. At this point, we'd recommend setting these rivets in the same order that you place them. This will help minimize material flow, keeping your fastener square. It'll also be easier to set the rest of the rivets with these rivets out of the way. Eight or nine firm strikes should set each rivet. Once the initial rivets are set, set the remaining rivets by working back and forth, staggering the order you set each rivet. Now let's inspect our installation. Use the hammer on the belt to disengage the rivets from the pilot nails. Leave the pilot nails in the installation tool until we have inspected and are satisfied with the job we have done. You'll want there to be a slight pucker where the fastener meets the rubber. You should not be able to get your fingernail between them. Use the applicator gauge to measure maximum rivet height. If you need to set the rivets more, simply replace the belt and fasteners in the tool. Keeping the pilot nails in place, clamp it, and use the hammer to further drive and set the rivets. When you are finished, use the hammer to knock the pilot nails free of the tool. Repeat the installation process for the opposite belt end. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Twitter, or like us on Facebook.